All right, boys and girls, it's summertime. And yes, we are having oceans of possibilities at your local library. So join us. You can read about animals that run and fly. You can read about planets that are high in the sky. Just read. Open up your world to oceans of possibilities. Just read. Open up your mind. Satisfy your curiosity. Hello and welcome to the So You Want to Be Like Me series. I am Miss Sheila, your singer, storyteller, author, trainer, YouTuber, and children's librarian. And today, we have a child guest that I would like to introduce you to. Her name is... Hi, my name is Riley Frazier, and when I grow up, I want to be a grocery store owner. Here's some fun facts about me. I like to draw. My favorite book is Dreamy B. Jones is a Crook. My favorite food is fries. My favorite subject is math, and my favorite colors are black, red, and blue. And I am 11 years old. So you want to be like me, grocery store owner. Here's our guest, Eric J. Campbell, childhood friend and an all-around good guy. He is the owner of Foodland in Walterboro, South Carolina. Now let's hear from him. Hello, I am Eric J. Campbell, the owner of Foodland here in Walterboro. What advice would you give me to be a grocery store owner? It's fulfilling to be able to help others and treat our customers the way we want to be treated. Do you love your job? Yes, Riley. I love the opportunity I get every day to brighten up someone's day with a great smile. Posted inside the store are the words, Need a smile today? Stop by and see Eric J. Here's a fun fact. 64% of U.S. consumers have done grocery shopping online. What do you need to do to be a grocery store owner? So Riley, here's what you need to do to become a grocery store owner. High school diploma and a college degree, a lot of retail experiences are needed, great communication skill, and excellent math skills. Here's a fun fact. The average shopping trip takes 41 minutes. What character traits do I need to have to be a grocery store owner? I will give you three character traits that you need to be a grocery store owner. One, you must be friendly. Two, product knowledge. Three, budgeting skill. And by all means, you should know how to manage people, maintain inventory, and the cash flow to keep the store running properly. And being a grocery store owner means you offer the customer the best deals possible for their money. Here is a fun fact. New York, California, and Florida are the states with the most number of supermarkets and grocery stores in the United States. What do you do during the day as a grocery store owner? Here are the five things I do during the course of a day as a grocery store owner. Number one, I inspect all the coolers, which include perishable foods like produce, meat, dairy, and frozen food. Two. I make sure total sales and office records reconcile. Three, I make bank deposits. Four, replenish inventory and restock shelves. And five, I interact with employees and customers. Here's a fun fact. Saturday is the most popular day for grocery shopping. What are the top three things that you enjoy about your job? The first thing I enjoy most about my job is number one, interacting with my staff and customers. The second thing is keep the store clean. Three, seeing satisfied customers. It is a wonderful store. It is clean. This guy is terrific. Thank His you. meats are good too. Thank you. <laughs> we love coming here. I love having you. We come here all Appreciate the time. Appreciate I guess that's why his favorite thing is seeing his customers satisfied. Go Eric. Here's a fun fact. The average salary of a grocery store owner in the United States is $76,935 per year. How many hours a day do you put in as a grocery store owner? On an average day, I do at least nine hours. Here's a fun fact. 
On average, multi-person households spend $121.50 on groceries every week. How many years have you done this? Riley, I've owned this store for two years. I have over 20 years of experience with customer service and sales. Here's a fun fact. The top three American supermarket companies in terms of sales are number one, Walmart, or Sam's Club, number two, Kroger, which includes Harris, Teeters, and Smith's, and number three, Costco. If you could make more money, would you leave this job? No, I really love this job because it's all about my passion, purpose behind being a grocery store owner. One more question. Where do you get your inspiration? My inspiration, Joshua 1 and 8. Thou shalt meditate on the law, both night and day, and observe to do all that is written therein. Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and have good success. <laughs> well said, Mr. Eric J. Campbell, a man of many talents and a girl with many dreams, Riley Frazier. Here's a fun fact. The nation's top grocery chains accounted for over 48% of 2020 sales. That's pretty good. Wow, Mr. Campbell, you're good. Hey, Riley, it was a pleasure um, having this interview with you. And I would say it's important to pursue passion and purpose because no matter what we do in life, it's ineffective if it's not purpose or either done with passion. So I like to encourage all listeners to know that when you do something, do purpose, your God-given purpose. There's two important dates in life. The day you were born and, day, and the day you realize why you were born. Here's our final fun fact. According to supermarket statistics, 70% of primary shoppers for multi-person households are females. I think that was a no-brainer though, right? A special thank you to Eric J. Campbell and Riley Frazier. Now, if you want to know more about how you could be a grocery store owner, check out or scan all of these to learn more. We have the book, Max Goes to the Grocery Store. We have a YouTube video and we have a DVD. Credit goes to Eric J. Campbell, Riley Frazier, L. Florence Oliver, and yours truly, Sheila M. Kears. So you want to be like me, grocery store owner. Didn't you learn a lot, boys and girls? I did. So make sure you stay tuned next Friday for another YouTube video. And remember, if you like this video, please like and subscribe.